Hello everyone, my name is Rohit and welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to show how to use the Expo SMS package. Using this package, we can send messages, but it's not that much simple. Because here, we will use the phone's messaging application. I know it sounds a bit confusing, but in the Expo official docs, you will see the use case of this package. So I am just here to show you guys how this package works. So without any further delay, let's get started. I initialized an Expo project and named the project SMS. Continue to dependencies downloading and wait until the downloading is finished. Here are the official docs. You can read the docs if you want. From here, we will install the Expo SMS package. You can see that I am using the latest version of the Expo and other dependencies. Before writing any code, let's run our project. Alright, the default code is working as expected. Now we will see how to use the Expo SMS package. First we will import all the required hooks and components which we will use in the code. Next we will use the useState hook to create two state variables, number and message, which store the phone number and the message text entered by the user. It also creates two setter functions, setNumber and setMessage, which update the state variables when the user changes the input values. Next we define a function called check sms which uses the sms dot is available async method to check if the device has sms capabilities. It uses the async await syntax to handle the promise returned by the method. It then shows an alert message depending on the result of the check. Next we define a function called send sms which uses the sms.sendsms async method to send the message to the number using the native sms app. It also uses the async await syntax to handle the promise returned by the method. It then shows an alert message depending on the result of the sending operation.
At last we return a view component which contains the following elements. A text component which displays the title expo sms demo. A button component which triggers the check sms function when pressed. It has the title check sms availability. A text input component which allows the user to enter the phone number. It has the placeholder enter phone number, the value number, the on-change text prop set number and the keyboard type prop phone pad. A text input component which allows the user to enter the message. It has the placeholder enter message, the value message, the on-change text prop set message and the multi-line prop set to true. A button component which triggers the send sms function when pressed. It has the title send message. Alright, now it's time to test our code. You can see that it is working as expected. I made this video just to show the use of this expo sms package. That's it for this video. In this video we saw the use case of the expo sms package. So basically it uses the system messaging app to send messages. If you found this video helpful then give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See you soon in the next react native expo video.